Hi everyone! It's been a while since I posted a video. I mean, it's not been a long while, but a few days, and it's not for lack of trying. I've tried three times on several videos, and I've just not, I've not been in the groove. So I did have um, a conversation with somebody about doing some more watercolor cards, actually two different people, um, and Christmas cards came up. So what I'm going to do is um, try and give you some different types of Christmas card ideas or winter landscape ideas for paintings, um, kind of some paint along kind of things, and we'll do that. I wanted to get out and sketch. I did go out and sketch yesterday and it was a major fail. Um, I went to a beautiful park that's nearby my home and it was raining the whole time. Um, I did end up doing a landscape that turned out absolutely poorly. Um, I'm not even going to show you because it, it, it was such an embarrassment. But anyhow, um, I it, it it was it was a major fail, and there were a few few reasons for that. Um, not not excuses, but um, I'm so used to using my Dana Smith watercolors. I changed watercolors. I changed to new brushes and a new book that I've never used before. That Stillman and Burn. Um, that I need to get used to the paper on a little bit because it's different. I'm used to 100% cotton. I'm, I'm not sure if these are cotton or not, but um, it's definitely a smoother feel. So that was an adjustment for me. And I was in my two-seater Roadster car with no space trying to film and I had a tripod set up in this little thing. And you're cramped in these cars. I had no room to paint. It was just hilarious. It was comical. I tried. I really tried. So I'm not going to be posting that video. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd be trying some watercolor cards. And there's a few here that I've been working on. Um, like uh, this is one that I did today. Just a little landscape. Um, very simple. This one didn't turn out well, but it's an idea of something that I want to go for. Um, so I think that's what we'll do today is I'm just going to do a watercolor card for you. Um, if you want to work in, work it into a larger painting, that's fine too, whatever you want to do, but I'm going to, I'm making Christmas cards and one of the Christmas cards I made, um, was actually from a video by Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, who many of you may know, and she did this one Christmas card. I don't know how long ago she did it, but I really liked the way it looked, so I've been making several of them. It's these these Christmas cards, and I can do one like this. I just can't use her, her plan because that wouldn't be right. Um, and I did change this up a little bit. I added some sparkle to the card. Um, you can't see it because I don't have any light facing it, but um, there's sparkle on the card and that kind of thing. And she stamps um, little things, sentiments on the front. I did that on one, and then I thought, well, what if somebody wants to frame your watercolor? You don't want to have a sentiment on the front of it. So I decided to do them a different way. So anyway, I made um, probably 10 of these. And now I'm going to go ahead and start on some of my own designs. Um, I need to make about 60 to 70 cards, probably 70. So I've got to do this six times more. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started and see what I come so up with. So okay? for this card, um, I'm going to be making... Uh, this a little bit bigger so it's just a bit easier for you to see and uh, you will need some masking fluid um, if you don't have masking fluid you can just um, I'm going to be using this for uh, the trees and if you don't have masking fluid you can just paint your trees a gray or whatever color you would like um, I usually use a um, silicone blender to apply my masking fluid with um, which I like to use. Um, it's just a personal preference. That way I don't ruin a lot of brushes. And then you'll need a wash brush um, <clears throat> and some sort of pointed brush for branches and uh, maybe a bigger one, maybe two different sizes. I have here a size 5 and a size 3. Um, that is if I use those. 
actually I probably use my size 4 so um, let's get started so we're gonna take some water I should have changed my water before we started um, actually I'm gonna just <clears throat> wet the back of my paper usually I use a squirt bottle for that whoops um, and I do this instead of taping down it works just fine and then I can just stick it down to the paper it may lift a little bit but um, then you're gonna wet the front side also if you haven't taped your paper um, if you're making a card and folding it in half obviously you don't want to wet your card um, then I'm just gonna spread my water around And I'm going to take some ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to kind of dab it here and there. Mostly in the center, though, because that will be where the interest is. And then I'm just going to slope this. And that's it. And now we're going to let that dry. And I'm totally sorry. I um, wigged out there for a second and I laid down my color without my masking fluid. Um, I'd been doing so many different cards with darker trees that it didn't even occur to me what I was doing here. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to take some pale diluted color, um, maybe some, um, let's see, some, I'm going to use some phthalo green. If you have viridian, you can use viridian, and then a little bit of ultramarine blue, and I'm going to mix those colors together in a somewhat diluted mixture, a little bit on the bluer side, and I'm diluting it out about like this. Let's see, I'm going to just test my color here. Yep, that's what I want. <clears throat> and now, this is a hill. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a couple trees in the background. Actually, I'm going to switch to my flat brush. I prefer to use my flat brush for these trees. So I will do that. And then you can just rock a flat brush back and forth, which makes it very easy. <clears throat> you don't want to keep it too um, uniform, though. Okay. And I'm going to do one more next to it, maybe a little bit smaller. Start that out like that. And I'm leaving the bottom angling off because of the snow banks. Um, I think that's all I'll put there. Now we're going to let that dry, but we can work over here. <clears throat> and since I did not use masking fluid, I'm going to go with a um, little bit of Payne's Gray, and I think it's raw, raw umber, which is a brown gray color. I'll show you what it looks like on its own. That's what it looks like on its own. And I like to mix the two together. And it kind of gives it a, almost like a Van Dyke brown color. If you have Van Dyke brown, you can use that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a tree in. Let's see, I'll put a tree in right here. I'm going to make my trunk a little thicker here. And 
and I'm just taking my brush lightly and I don't want to be straight. <clears throat> if you have shaky hands, that's great because it makes your branches look that much more realistic. Don't want them to be too straight. You just always want them to taper. So you never want to bring your branches inward. <clears throat> you always want to have them going outward because that way your paint tapers off to a fine point like a realistic branch. So you can just keep adding your branches <clears throat> in as many as you want. Okay, now I'm going to add another tree in. I'm going to bring it down here. And it's going to be larger than the other. I'm going to mix up a little more paint here before I start so that I don't run out in the middle. And this one's going to be down here. Now I've got to darken that because I can see my green branches through my tree here as my paint was getting too diluted. This is um, a newer brush that I got. It's a Rosemary & Company Series 307. It's a little shorter than uh, normal, which adds a little more spring to it and makes it nice and easy for fine work. That got real dark, so now I have to darken everything else. That's still wet, so it's not allowing me to darken it very well. That's all right. I can darken it after. I'm going out of town this weekend to my cottage, and so I thought I would take my watercolor paper along and my um, my paper cutter, and um, that way I can work on making Christmas cards while I'm there because I'm so behind, and I do this every year. Um, and if you'd like to do a Christmas card, but you know you can't make enough of them in time for the holidays in order to get them out, but you'd like to do that for somebody, what you can do, and I've done this before, one year I had I was just messing around and I got out my Prismacolor colored pencils and I drew a snowy scene and... Um, People who saw it were like, that should be a Christmas card. It looks like a Christmas card. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make it a Christmas card. And it was big. Um, it was like an 8 by 10 So I just sent it in. Um, I sent my photo in to Zazzle. I think it was Zazzle or maybe it was Vistaprint or something. One of those card companies. And they um, took it made my Christmas cards and sent them back to me and I put the addresses on them and got them in the mail and that was it. Nice and easy. But I ordered way too many. The lower number that they offered 
was not enough for me, so I had to go up to the next step, and it was way too much. It was like 150 cards or something. So last year, I was sending out the same card again to a lot of people, which I don't like to do, but that's all right. I think many don't even remember. Although I'm afraid that when they're homemade like that, that maybe they do remember. <laughs> and then I don't, uh, I don't want them to remember, you know. I'm just going to get a little bit narrower brush here. This is a zero, I think, it looks like, or a one. I'm just going to get some thinner branches on here. You could stop there if you want. Um, this one might not be the right brush for that. Let me see. What about this one? I can use this old Simply Simmons. I don't think that's going to come to a good enough point. Maybe it will. Oh no, here we go. This is the one I want. Size 3. That will work perfectly. I think. Oh yeah. I want a couple coming out here at the bottom, too. Like a natural tree would be. And I think I want one coming off a little bit straighter here. It's always easier for me to go left because I'm a lefty. <laughs> you guys probably have the opposite problem if you're right-handed. It's easier for you to make your branches on the right-hand side. Um, I'd just turn it around, but when I'm on camera, it's I know it's not fun for you to watch things upside down. Um, okay, now... We're done with that. Now I need to add some snow banks in. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this just a little bit. I'm sorry, my chair squeaks so much. And I'm going to get a little ultramarine blue again. And I'm just putting some... snow in. I should have made that a little more purple, I think. In fact, I'm going to try to dab some of this off. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of color to that. Maybe a little magenta. Yeah, that's better. Maybe even a little bit more. Oop, that might be a little too much. There we go. And I don't know why, but it feels like the light should be going off this way. So I'm just going to bring my tree off in the distance here. Okay. Okay, and that's it. 
Then you'll want to go ahead and sign your work, obviously. You should always sign your work. Um, trying to find my brush here. <clears throat> and I'm going to get some Payne's Gray. Actually, i got to dry it first. Let's let it dry. Okay, actually, I think I have some ultramarine blue in this, but I'm going to go ahead and sign it right here. Okay, and that's it. So, that's all you need to do for your Christmas card, and... You could be pounding these out a few at a time. Um, if I were going to do a card like this, um, and I think I might just do that. Actually, I might add a cardinal to it, too. Maybe I should. It can be just something simple. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say... Um, if you're going to make a Christmas card and you want to make a bunch of them, what I would recommend is that you get them all in a row... Um, maybe do four or five at a time and wet down your paper and do your sky and maybe dry one of them and let the others start to dry naturally and then do your trees and go on to the next one and then do your shadows and your snow and um, then eventually, you know, you've got five cards and you can do them a lot quicker that way than to do them one at a time like this and then to move on to the next one. It can be slow and tedious that way. But um, I'm going to continue on with this because some people had said that they'd like to see some Christmas cards. So I'll be doing a few more of these um, and um, maybe I'll get another video done while I'm away. Uh, and I can post that on Monday. I'll try to do that. So everybody have a great weekend and enjoy the weather. I hope it's sunny where you are. It's supposed to be beautiful where I'm at. Not real warm, but very pretty. So have a great weekend, everyone. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.